It's his favorite place, Lance Whitaker at the track. Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of Kings. Coming up this week, that jockey-trainer combination again, Rian Lewis for Jason Costa. She's my destiny on song in the reggae trophy at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. Ireland bred brilliant news, win season of emancipation featuring Barbados for the second year in a row. Another massive Guyana Cup race day in West Barbies with a US bred five-year-old Easy Time dominating the main event. Plus the latest in Caribbean prominence in Canadian racing. We're in Jamaica for opening story. Only five Five starters in Saturday's Reggae Trophy feature at Caymanus Spark, a five furlong sprint over the straight course with a speedy five horse, She's My Destiny, a heavy favorite under leading jockey Rian Lewis, the Peter Passard trained one horse, Jordan Reigns, the defending champion, also entered for his first run this year. As the 75 second favorite, Jordan Reigns with a chance of giving the Passard Barn a third straight Reggae Trophy win. Peter's dad, Ian Passard, having scored with Rajon de Pilot in 2021 before Jordan Reigns win last year. Recent winners, Lure of Lucy at 6-1 and Perfect Brew at 9-2, racing from boxes 3 and 4. And it's 1-2 on number 5, the favorite She's My Destiny, eyeing a third win in four starts. As ace commentator Brand Rickman picks them up mid-race, the favorite is already in control and about to quicken away from her rivals under a confident ride from Lewis, a.k.a. Action Pack. My destiny looks to be cruising at the moment as they are about to arrive at the final quarter. The rider now shaking her up and asking her to really go. Lure of Lucy in pursuit with Jordan Reigns in the red cap on the far side. The rest all look out of it as She's My Destiny continues to show them her rear end. The rider switches the stick quickly to his left hand as they flash past the front on pole it is she's my destiny and action pack rear lewis he's looking for his second win on the card and she's my destiny will give it to him in the reggae trophy she's my destiny wins over perfect brew and lure of lucy an 11th win this from 22 career starts for she's my destiny the five-year-old mayor advertising her label as one of jamaica's best sprinters and that prolific St. Leisure winning jockey trainer combination again. Two trophy wins for them on Saturday's card. Seven of Rian Lewis's 12 wins in the last five race days have come from Jason Costa, who is pointing She's My Destiny to late season big money clashes with the island's best horses. This speedy mare was within two lengths of the leader of the eighth bowl in last December's Mute Mile. And the leading trainer is more than satisfied with her progress. Oh yeah, she's doing, she's doing fantastic right now. She's... Uh, I think she's blast up in right now. She's on top of her game. So uh, let's hope to, to, um, to keep her that way for the rest of the year. And so it's on. The SNA Syndicate's 1 2 favorite She's My Destiny lands the reggae trophy comfortably ahead of the fast finishing 9 2 bet perfect brew to score by a length and three quarters, covering the five for long straight sprint in one minute and one fifth of a second. The second Luis da Costa win Saturday came in the co feature Lu Chipu trophy race, pretty much gate to wire. It is Outbidder who holds them off. Approaching the final furlong, Outbidder getting cracks of that left-hand stick from Action Pack. Rhea Lewis, he's looking for a three-timer. Here is Sunset Silhouette now asked to close up toward the outside. Get a Pepsi. It is Outbidder driven to the max, holding on by a length and just gets there over Sunset Silhouette. Coming into the Luchi Poo on an eight-race winless run, Outbidder was narrowly beaten with Lewis aboard by the head cornerstone in her last start late July. And the 23-year-old rider was bent on making it right this time. I know this horse very well um, the last time she ran, we got interfered with and she lose by half a length. So I decided this week that I'll put her right in front, regulate the pace and then ask her when I'm comfortable. The big favourite Mute Mile winner Excessive Force only 7th as Carlton Watson's outbidder wins by 3 quarters of a length over the closing 11 to 1 bet Sunset Silhouette for a DaCosta 1-2 the winning time for a mile 141 and 2 fifths of a second. To Barbados now where the season of emancipation handicap was a main event at the Garrison Savannah this past weekend. The defending champion Brilliant News entered but last year's Triple Crown winner Hurricane coming off an 11 month layoff was the big 7-5 to five favorite. Out front early, the 2-1 to one second favorite, Beige and Azteca, but as the pace quickens, Sir Jimmy and Hurricane are moving up to challenge, watched in the com box by Rashawn Aline. It is Beige and Azteca through the opening quarter in 25-3. and three. Sir Jimmy is second. A small craft advisory has been issued because a Hurricane is coming after Beige and Azteca with a quarter mile left to go, and it is Beige and Azteca, Beige bracing for the challenge of Hurricane. 
Back to third is Sir Jimmy. Then there's brilliant news and Shane Doan as they come to the corner. And Beijing and Aztec is trying to weather the storm with a furlong left to go. But Hurricane has completely blown on by and put her away inside the final furlong. It is the triple crown winner, Hurricane, who comes up to the wire. On the outside is, Be is brilliant news and Beijing and Azteca. It is going to be Hurricane. Here comes brilliant news on the wire. What a finish! 2023 Derby winning jockey Ray Williams aboard Brilliant News with an electrifying headline finish to reel in Triple Crown winner Hurricane in dark conditions at the Garrison Savannah. Williams and Brilliant News like they did last year when they topped Nilos and Inspired Adventure landing the season of emancipation feature again for Jamaican trainer Andrew Bush and Nunes. The first win this for Brilliant News since that win last year and second victory for the Ireland-bred four-year-old Colt since arriving from England where he had also won at Lingfield and had top four finishes at Kempton and Chelmsford. Sir David Seals' Brilliant News with a surprise win by a half length at 7-1 to odds, the second longest shot in the field, defeating the favourite Hurricane, 107 and 3 fifths the winning time as trainer Andrew Nunes lands his third consecutive season of emancipation handicap feature after Brenner Pass in 2021 and of course Brilliant News last year. Last weekend, fans in Ghana flocked the Rising Sun Turf Club in Westboro Beast for the biggest event on the country's horse racing calendar, Guyana Cup Day. And a promoter's reporting a crowd reaching as high as 13,000 for the main event. The favourite Alado was outpaced mid-race. The Brazil-bred John Bull threatened briefly, but approaching the final turn in the rich 9.5 million Guyanese dollar event, it was Alado's stablemate and fellow US-bred Easy Time taking full control, with John Rupert on commentary. Easy time in front there from John Bull. Then running on is uh, the Wild Texas Storm and now it's Tui then Bossalina as they come off the turn and into the stretch. Now it is Easy Time in front. Easy Time is the one who has kicked clear. Bossalina is in the hunt in second spot. Then comes Queen Dorina and El Tarzan trade it down. Then now it's Tui and Wild Texas Storm inside the final turn for Tears. And it's Easy Time who's pulling clear from this field. And Easy Time is going to win the Diana Making it look easy, ridden by Venezuelan Juan Rodriguez, easy time, a campaigner at multiple USA tracks including Churchill Downs, Keeneland and Gulfstream Park and a former stakes winner at Canada's Woodbine, a champion here. The big favourite Alado fades to finish 10th for owners Master Z Stables, but their easy time wins the Banks DIH Guyana Cup worth just over 46,000 US dollars by four lengths, clocking 149 even for eight furlongs in a massive win that surprised even the trainer Nasruddin Mohammed as easy time had arrived in Guyana just over a week before race day. I was not expecting him to win because he also, he only came 10 days ago. Um, he wasn't, he wasn't fit. We got him from an auction and um, he wasn't, he wasn't fit. Right, and um, he came out and he showed it. He, he ran out his heart, and he did. He did great. I think he outclassed the horses. Earlier on Sunday's Guyana Cup car, the secondary feature, the Derby, with a US 27,700 purse, the grey Rachel in front, but under pressure from the TNT three-year-old filly, Firecracker. Rachel in front, in the heart is Firecracker. She's making some headway now on Rachel, and your foot was eight clear from Scandal, who raced in third. Red Ruby has given up the chase, then Renaissance Man and Pocoyo into the home stretch they come, and Rachel has a challenge on her hands, and that's Firecracker, and Firecracker has tackled Rachel for the lead on the outside. Firecracker battling Rachel, these two are settling out. Scandal is running into third spot, then comes Red Ruby and Renaissance Man, but Firecracker, Rachel is not giving up. Firecracker just gets up for Firecracker missed the Guinness and Midsummer Classic races in TNT, but comes up big here for a purse larger than two of those TNT Classics combined. Colin Ross aboard for the Associated Construction Derby win by a neck over Rachel for trainer Glenn Mendez and owners Jerry in a race from TNT and Jumbo Jet. Now, there's almost never an at-the-track show without info on Caribbean stakes wins in Canada. This time, the veteran Barbadian rider Ronaldo Cumberbatch piloting Monday's CTHS sales stakes winner Just Let Me At Him for Barbadian trainer Devon Gittins at Assiniboia Downs. The 44-year-old Cumberbatch pushed the favourite Just Let Me At Him to lead down the backstretch, while Jamaican rider Arthur Badu was constantly a threat on the outside with a 7-to-1 shot, vindictive miss. Just let me at him. Still going at it on the front end. Vindictive miss, not giving up. Looking for a little room. Is Daisy's a doozy? Just let me at him. Is gonna take the 35th, 35th running of the CTHS sales stake. 
Cumberbatch's seconds takes victory this season. Caribbean jockeys swept six of the seven races on Monday's card at Assiniboia Downs, where Barbadian Antonio Whitehall is leading rider. And one of three Caribbean jocks from these parts, currently leaders at Canadian racetracks, Chris Husbands at Fort Erie and Jamaican Dane Nelson at Century Mile. The third added money win for Barbadian trainer Devon Giddens in Winnipeg this term. The four to five favorite just let me at him by a half length in the CTHS sales stakes, clocking 114.52 for six furlongs. For a statistical update before we go, since our last show, I've counted 71 wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada in the past week. Among them, the Jamaican jockey Dane, the Warrior Chief Nelson, celebrating his birthday Wednesday after five wins at Century Mile, including a Sunday triple. In Florida, the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr., who had a Saratoga win on Thursday, had five wins at Gulfstream Park, where Jamaican trainer Ruan Crichton had three weekend victories. Three wins for the Jamaican jockey Robert Hart. Hardball Halladine at Thistledown, where the Barbadian jockey Rocco Boyne had two wins after a Sunday double at Emerald Downs. And at Grand Prairie in Canada, the Jamaican jockey Laris Allen had a stakes win among two wins this past weekend. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.